what's good guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to the hair growth pharmacy in today's video we will be discussing how sleep affects hair growth sleep is a natural state of rest in which your eyes are closed and you become unconscious or your awareness to environmental stimuli is reduced as sleep is regenerative getting sufficient amounts of sleep is necessary for the renewal of cells protein synthesis and the release of growth hormones. This is particularly important for promoting hair growth and for the overall health of the hair as the hair follicle stem cells usually go to work during this time. There are five stages of sleep with variations between light sleep, deep sleep, and REM sleep. It is said that during stage four of the sleep cycle, which is also known as deep sleep or the healing stage, that important hormones are being released to do their jobs as well as tissue growth and tissue repair takes place along with cellular energy being restored. Other functions which take place during deep sleep would include memory consolidation, the processing of emotion and learning, physical recovery, the balancing out of blood sugar levels and metabolism, the immune system being energized, as well as the detoxification of the brain, etc. Without deep sleep, these functions cannot take place and the symptoms of sleep deprivation sets in. While the lack of sleep stops hair follicle stem cells from doing their job and the results could be an impairment in hair growth, there doesn't seem to be any such thing as too much deep sleep or any indication that oversleeping or hypersomnia promotes hair loss. However, poor sleep habits may lead to several health issues such as stress, a lack of energy, skin issues, and also a poor immune system. Several studies claim that poor sleep conditions like sleep apnea may affect the hair condition as part of the circadian cycle may particularly affect the growth cycle of the hair follicle. In healthy adults, about 13 to 23% of your sleep is deep sleep. So if you get about eight hours of continuous sleep, then that's roughly 62 to 110 minutes of deep sleep. You can identify whether or not you've had sufficient sleep by assessing how you feel once you've woken up. For example, if you feel well rested, it is more likely that you had sufficient sleep. However, if you feel quite groggy, then it is more likely that you did not have sufficient sleep, let alone deep sleep. However, if your sleep cycle seems to be out of whack, whether that be a lack of sleep or oversleeping, this could be due to a decrease in melatonin levels in your body. Melatonin is a hormone which our bodies produce, which regulates the body's sleep cycle and also increases hair growth. Subsequently, if the body's melatonin levels are low, this can have a negative impact on hair growth. To encourage or increase a deep sleep state, you may want to consider reducing stress, meditation, exercising, sleeping in a nice cool room, listening to white or pink noise, or even eating a healthy balanced diet. Fortunately, there are some drinks and foods which contain compounds which help to control parts of the sleep cycle that encourages a person to fall asleep and also stay asleep. Foods which help to encourage a good night's rest would include almonds, kiwi, chamomile tea, tart cherries, barley grass powder, and also lettuce, etc. There are many chemicals, amino acids, nutrients, enzymes, and hormones which work together to promote good sleep and to regulate the sleep cycle. Some of these would include antioxidants, B vitamins, zinc, copper, calcium, and magnesium, etc. As well as hormones like histamine, melatonin, and serotonin. Therefore, sourcing foods which are high in these nutrients will help with regulating your sleep cycle. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you found today's video very informative. And if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next time, we will be right back here in the Hair Growth Pharmacy.